have you guys ever had like an image that you think is so cute you want to use that image for a project but there's something on it on that image that you just don't like well that's what today's video is going to be about i'm going to show you what you can do to change an um something that you don't like in an image so we are going to use photopea and I know some people pronounce it photo P, but I like photo Pia. And that is a free website that you can use. So this is the image that I want to change. I think this image is so cute. I just, um, I'm going to make a Tumblr and I'm going to give it to a teacher and I'm not really sure if feeling extra uh, grinchy works for that or not. So I wanted to maybe change it and put a name. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is open Photopea. And once you're in Photopea, you're going to open from your computer. And you want to find the file that you want, the image you want to upload. The next thing is to upload your image to Photopea. And then you're going to come up here to File. And you're going to Export. And then change it to an SVG. We're going to click on that. And then you'll see here, this is the file name. So let's just name it Grinch. And then you'll see right here, the format is an SVG. And then we're going to hit save. And you'll see right on the very top right hand corner is an arrow. And that is our image. So we're gonna go ahead and save this to our desktop. Once you saved it to your desktop or another location that you like to save it to, you're gonna go back over here to file and we're going to do open. And you're going to go to where your file is on your desktop. So you'll go to where the file is, you'll double click and you're going to upload that. So on the very top corner, you're going to see that this is what we saved it as Grinch SVG and this is the SVG. So, so far that's pretty easy, right? So now we are going to click on layers and we're going to right click and we're going to select rasterize. And then we're gonna go over here on the left and this is a magic wand. We're going to select that. So I'm going to select magic wand and then I'm going to erase this. I think it's so cute, but I just not sure if that works well for a teacher. And I'm just using my mouse or the clicker and you're just pointing and then you're hitting the delete button. So you can do this if it's just like lettering or something that you wanna get rid of. You can also, if you wanna go up here and hit this little rectangle, you would select that and then I could just drag this here and then I can hit delete. So I can just do it that way as well. So it just depends on what you want to delete. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do the same for this part up here. So again, we're gonna collect, we're gonna select rectangle and then I'm just going to kind of um, go over that area and then I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so this part is all done. That is how you can get rid of the image or anything in the image. What I'm going to do is just hit file and I'm going to export this as a PNG and I'm going to save this Grinch and you can even change the width and the height but I'm going to go ahead and bring this over to Canva and make the rest of the change. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And then I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'll go ahead and walk you through what I do in Canva if you want to know any more information on that and we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and save this to the desktop. And I am going to do custom size. And since I'm going to make a tumbler, I'm going to go ahead and just get it the right dimension now. So I'm going to change this from pixels to inches, change this to 8.6 to 9.6, since I'm going to do a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. And I have videos on that as well. If you want, I'll link them below. Okay, so I'm going to go to upload and upload the image. 
So the next step is heading on over to Canva and I uploaded the image. So before we get started, I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to drag this up and get rid of the Christmas lights. Reason being is it's probably just easier to go ahead and add new ones. Because if you see here, when we took out the verbiage, we deleted some of the Christmas lights. So let's just add new ones. So we're gonna go over here to elements and type in Christmas lights. And let me just kind of scroll down here. Then you can go ahead and select the Christmas lights you want. So I'm going to just kind of drag this here. And as you can see that line there, that just lets you know that you are in that box. So the next thing I wanna do is just make this a little bit bigger because I notice here is just like a little bit of something that I wanna get rid of. So I'm going to go over to elements and we're going to, let's just hit a circle to kind of cover up that little dot or whatever that is and I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to go ahead and select everything and hit group okay so the next thing I'm going to do is insert the name so I'm going to go to text and type in the name and I'm going to use Grinch and I downloaded that, I think, from 1001 fonts, free fonts. And we're gonna go ahead and change that to the Grinch and we're going to upload it. Now you can only upload um, fonts if you have the Pro Edition. So you would just download the font and you would then just select up here, which would be where the, the font is. You'll go here and you'll just click on upload font and then it's kind of self-explanatory. You just, it will take you to where you need to go to on your desktop. You just upload it and then you just hit yes. And it's just asking you, are you sure you want to upload this? And you say yes. And that's all I did. So I'm going to go ahead and change this color to pink. And I'm going to select everything and hit group. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so the rest of it is just kind of adding little things and I will make this video shorter just to kind of um, just get you to this part and the rest you'll just add what you want. And that's it guys. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today. I hope you learned something new. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you comment below and let me know. And that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.